The Boeing 747-8i is the fastest passenger jet in service, cruising at over 700 miles per hour, according to BBC. At its core is the GENX2B67 engine, an 18-foot-long machine that inhales a ton of air per second and turns it into 66,000 pounds of thrust. Built from carbon fiber, titanium, and heat-resistant alloys, it's a masterpiece of modern engineering. Before the first bolt is forged or blade is cast, everything starts in a virtual world. Before the engine ever takes shape, it begins as a fully simulated model called a digital twin. This virtual design is created at GE's advanced facilities and is used to simulate how every bolt, blade, and panel will perform under flight conditions. The goal is to create something that can endure Arctic air, desert heat, volcanic ash, and non-stop pressure from high-altitude flight. It also needs to consume less fuel, produce fewer emissions, and keep spinning for over 30,000 flight hours before any major maintenance. At the front sits a fan that measures over 105 inches in diameter. That is nearly the width of a full-sized bus. This fan pulls in more than a ton of air every second and sends it down two paths. A small portion enters the core for combustion, but the majority bypasses it entirely, providing efficient thrust with less noise and heat. Behind the fan, the engine squeezes the incoming air into tighter and tighter volumes, preparing it for ignition in the hot section. With the design locked in, it's time to forge the raw ingredients, materials that can survive conditions hotter than molten rock. The Gen X engine is built from materials that did not exist in earlier generations of aviation. Fan blades are made from carbon fiber composite, a lightweight but strong material that reduces overall engine weight by hundreds of pounds. The outer fan casing is made from similar composites, saving even more fuel during long-haul flights. Inside the hot section, engineers use nickel-based superalloys cooled in precision furnaces to form a perfect crystal structure. These turbine blades can withstand internal temperatures hotter than lava and remain stable at high speeds. Newer versions even include ceramic matrix composites. These materials offer the heat resistance of metal but with the weight of plastic. They help the engine run hotter, faster, and cleaner than previous designs. Here's a question for you. How many carbon fiber fan blades does the GENX2B67 have? Take your best guess and leave it in the comments. We'll reveal the answer just before the origin story. The next step is transforming raw materials into parts that can spin at hypersonic speeds without breaking a sweat. Once the materials are shaped into rough components, engineers begin refining them down to microscopic tolerances. Some spinning parts inside the engine rotate at over 11,000 revolutions per minute. At those speeds, even the smallest error could cause catastrophic vibration. The discs and blades are polished to a mirror finish. Then, advanced laser tools drill thousands of microscopic holes along the surface of the turbine blades. These holes allow cool air to flow over the metal during flight creating a thin protective layer that helps the engine survive extreme heat. This method is called film cooling. It is essential to keeping the turbine section below failure temperatures during cruise. Turbine blades are also coated in ceramic barrier layers, which add another 200 degrees of heat protection. Once coated, each part goes through shot peening, a process where tiny metal spheres are fired at high speed to strengthen the outer layers of the component. At the end of the machining process, High-resolution 3D scanners verify every blade and bolt. Any component outside tolerance is sent back for corrections. Now comes the moment when thousands of pieces become one unified force of engineering. The GENX engine is built in modules. These include the fan, compressors, combustor, turbines, accessory gearbox, and support structures. Each module is assembled independently using rotating platforms that allow technicians to work from every angle. Every bolt is tracked with a unique serial number and stored in a digital log. Some fasteners are made from high-strength Inconel, a metal designed to handle high temperatures and constant stress. Inside the fan module, engineers also install Kevlar liners. These are designed to catch any broken blade fragments in case of failure, keeping the rest of the aircraft safe. Once all modules are complete, they are moved into final assembly using self-driving carts. In the assembly hall, laser alignment tools help position each part with tolerances within one-tenth of a millimeter. 
When complete, the entire engine is tightened and tested as a single unit. From tip to tail, it measures over 18 feet long and is ready for the final challenge. Even the most impressive engine is just theory until it proves itself under pressure. Every genx 2 b 67 goes through a brutal testing process at GE's Peebles facility in Ohio, where engineers recreate the harshest flying conditions imaginable. It all starts with a dry crank. The engine is spun using external motors without any fuel, so technicians can listen for unusual vibrations or resistance in the bearings. Once everything sounds right, the engine is ignited. It starts at idle, then climbs to half power and finally to full takeoff thrust in under 30 seconds. Sensors monitor every shift in airflow, temperature, and internal pressure. Next is the endurance trial. The engine runs at cruise level power for several hours non-stop, simulating a long-haul flight across oceans. Cooling systems surrounding the test chamber help mimic the thin air at high altitude. But the real challenge comes with environmental stress tests. The engine is hit with freezing rain, blasted with fine desert sand, and even struck with gelatin projectiles that simulate bird collisions. Through all of it, the engine must stay stable, efficient, and safe. If it shows even the slightest sign of failure, it goes back for rework. Only the engines that pass every test are cleared for commercial flight. Let's go back to the question we asked earlier. How many carbon fiber fan blades does the GENX2B67 have? If you guessed 18, you were right. These wide cord blades are hollow, incredibly strong, and designed to deliver high thrust while keeping noise to a minimum. Now that you've seen how it works, it's time to find out how it all began. The story of this engine begins in the early 2000s. Boeing had announced a new version of its iconic jumbo jet. The 747-8 would be longer, faster, and built to meet the demands of modern air travel. To make it work, they needed an engine that was cleaner, quieter, and more efficient than anything that had come before. GE was already developing a next-generation engine for the Boeing 787, known as the GENX. For the 747-8, they adapted that design. The version created for the 747 used the same core but with a slightly smaller fan and redesigned structures to support four engines instead of two. The engine went through testing in 2010 and officially entered service in 2012. It delivered on every promise, cutting fuel burn by 15% and meeting tough environmental standards. Today, the GNX powers every 747-8i in the sky including cargo planes, passenger jets, and even the next generation of Air Force One. This engine doesn't just power a plane. It carries decades of innovation, material science, and human precision. The GENX is more than an engine. It is a living system of pressure, precision, and fire. From carbon composites that whisper through the air to turbine blades forged in atomic perfection, every part of this engine tells a story of innovation. The next time you see a 747-8i racing through the sky, remember that it's not just flying. It is riding on a machine capable of producing over 66,000 pounds of smooth, silent, and unstoppable power. It's faster than any subsonic passenger jet in history at Mach 0.94. But the secret behind the Bombardier Global 8000's insane speed and range? It's not the wings, it's not the fuselage, it's the engine. But how do you build an engine that's fast, quiet, efficient, and strong enough for this kind of range? Let's find out. They needed something that could handle not just long distances, but also the day-in, day-out demands of high-utilization business jets. Think tight turnarounds, minimal downtime, and performance under changing weather conditions without compromise. So they built the Global 8000. But they didn't just want it to be fast. They built it to be the most capable business jet in the sky flying farther and smoother than anything else in its class. With a top speed of Mach 0.94 and a range of 8,000 nautical miles, it connects cities like Los Angeles and Dubai non-stop. And it does it in luxury. But to push a jet this far at this speed, you need a power plant that can do more than just fly. It needs to endure. Bombardier turned to a proven source, but they didn't just copy and paste. The Bombardier Global 8000 is powered by two General Electric Passport engines. They are high-bypass turbofans built for long-haul, high-performance business jets. 
At first glance, they might not look revolutionary, but once you dig inside, it's a different story. Each engine produces up to 18,920 pounds of thrust. That's more than enough to push the global 8,000 to its world record-breaking performance and keep it efficient at the same time. Before we move on, here's a question we have for the aviation nerds out there. The Passport engine's fan blades are made from something lighter and stronger than titanium. Any guesses? Drop your answer in the comments below and we'll confirm it at the end of this video. To understand the Passport's performance, we need to look at its core. This is where air is compressed, ignited, and turned into pure jet thrust. The Passport uses a 10-stage high-pressure compressor, a single annular combustor, and a two-stage high-pressure turbine. That balance gives it high thermal efficiency and optimal airflow control across a range of altitudes and speeds. The core is compact. It's derived from GE's military and commercial engines like CFM and LEAP programs, but it's been scaled and adapted for business aviation. The result is less fuel burned, lower emissions, higher performance at cruise. This compact design also helps reduce engine weight, which improves the aircraft's overall balance and contributes to its long-range capabilities. By minimizing drag and maximizing thermal output, the engine hits a sweet spot between thrust and economy. Exactly what the Global 8000 needs on a 15-hour intercontinental flight, and it all starts up front. At the front of each Passport engine is a 52-inch composite fan, which is the biggest in its class. But it's not just about size, it's about what it's made of. GE developed the fan using Blisk technology, bladed discs milled from a single piece of advanced material. This design reduces weight, increases durability, and eliminates the need for multiple fasteners that can fail under stress. The fan blades themselves are made of carbon fiber composite, with titanium leading edges offering the best of both worlds, strength and lightness. This gives the engine an ultra-high bypass ratio of 5.6 to 1 and allows more air moving around the core than through it. That's a recipe for both thrust and fuel savings. In fact, about 80% of the engine's total thrust comes from this bypass airflow, meaning it's not just quieter, it's more efficient too. But power means nothing if it's too loud to land where it matters. Most business jets aren't just judged by their performance in the sky. They're also judged by how quiet they are when landing near homes or private airfields. That's why the Passport was built with noise in mind. It uses a chevron-shaped nacelle that give it those serrated edges at the back to mix high-speed exhaust with cooler bypass air more smoothly. This reduces the sharp noise transitions that trigger complaints. The Global 8000 meets Stage 5 noise standards, the quietest in the world. Cabin noise is also minimized thanks to better insulation and engine mounting design, making long flights not just fast but also peaceful. Passengers can sleep, work, or talk without the constant hum that defines older jets. And that's without sacrificing thrust or performance where it really counts. Most jet engines are optimized for takeoff. The Passport, on the other hand, was designed to cruise at high speed and high altitude. At 51,000 feet, where the Global 8000 likes to fly, the air is thin, and efficiency matters. This is where the Passport shines. It maintains stable performance across the entire flight envelope, especially between Mach 0.85 and 0.94. That high-speed cruise capability is what allowed the Global 8000 to break records in flight tests, including flying faster than any previous business jet without going supersonic. And it does it with lower fuel consumption than smaller engines used in competing aircraft. This level of cruise efficiency also reduces engine wear over time, extending service life and lowering long-term operating costs. In the business jet world, that adds real value. There is more time in the sky and fewer overhauls. But raw power isn't the whole story. Underneath all that hardware is something just as critical, software. Each Passport engine is fully integrated with digital engine controls and onboard diagnostic systems. These systems monitor everything from vibration levels to fuel pressure in real time. Why does that matter? It means predictive maintenance. It can catch issues before they happen, reducing downtime and improving safety. And for aircraft operating long-range missions, that kind of reliability is priceless. GE calls it a digital twin, a virtual copy of the engine that constantly learns and adjusts based on flight data. 
This digital twin can even recommend adjustments to pilot behavior or route planning to maximize fuel economy based on past flight data. That's next-level integration between aircraft systems and engine intelligence. And when paired with smart design, it does more than just prevent problems. It makes them easier to fix. Jet engines aren't usually low maintenance, but the Passport was designed to change that. It has fewer parts than comparable engines and modular components that can be accessed quickly. Combined with the real-time health monitoring, this engine requires less scheduled maintenance and fewer overhauls over time. That means lower operating costs and more time in the air for the Global 8000. Scheduled overhauls can be spaced further apart thanks to improved wear tracking, which means more revenue-generating hours for operators. For business travelers, that means getting there faster and with fewer interruptions. In a jet that flies halfway around the world, that kind of reliability pays for itself. And it's not just theory. The Passport engine isn't just a design on paper. It's already proven itself in the field powering the Global 7500 and the 8000's predecessor. Thousands of hours of flight time, real-world performance across the globe, and deep integration with Bombardier's platform make it one of the most tested engines in its class. When Bombardier needed a power plant to break records with the 8000, they didn't gamble on something unproven. They chose a platform that had already delivered and pushed it even further. Feedback from operators of the Global 7500 helped refine the engine's final configuration for the 8000. That real-world data led to tweaks in software and materials to make sure it could handle even longer routes. And those changes aren't just about now. The Passport is powering today's fastest subsonic jet and also shaping the next generation of private aviation. Its mix of digital integration and high-efficiency design with advanced materials is becoming the new standard for long-range travel. Other manufacturers are now borrowing ideas like its composite fans, digital twins, predictive diagnostics because the Passport proved they work at scale. In a world where speed, efficiency, and sustainability are more important than ever, this engine is leading the way, and it's doing it 8,000 nautical miles at a time. While the Passport is optimized for the Global Series today, its core design could inspire the next generation of hybrid or even hydrogen-ready engines. That means it's not just a jet engine, it's a foundation for what comes next. So what are the Passport's fan blades made from? The answer is carbon fiber composite. It is lighter and stronger than metal, which helps reduce weight while boosting efficiency. It's just one of the smart choices that makes this engine a game changer. But that's just one piece of the story. Behind every long range jet or record breaking speed is an engineering system built to go further. And this is only the beginning. There's a whole world of cutting edge aviation tech out there and we're breaking it down one jet at a time. Hit like, subscribe and stick around. The next one might just fly faster.